Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. If you have not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing right away. In this video, you will learn how to create a quote reveal animation effect in PowerPoint. The beautiful quote reveal animation effect you will learn to create today looks like this. As you can see here, this is a folded screen. On a click, a hand comes and unfolds it and a quote is revealed. Very beautiful, isn't it? It's a practical and useful animation effect and you can use this to display quotations, customer testimonials, etc. And you can create this fairly easily. Let me show you how to create this effect from scratch. Here I am on a new slide. Let me go to the Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle like this. And this is going to be the beam of the screen. I'm going to right click, go to Format Shape, go to Fill and I'm going to apply Gradient Fill. This Gradient Fill is applied because of the previous video that I created which is about creating a beautiful animated scenery in PowerPoint. In case if you have not watched that video then I highly recommend that you go and watch it. It's a beautiful PowerPoint video. Now let us go to one of the basic preset gradients and I'm going to choose something like this one called Light Gradient Accent 3. And then I'm going to choose only three stops. So I'm going to keep this in the middle and I'm going to remove the third stop. I'm going to go to the first one, the first of the stops here in gradient and I'm going to give this a dark color like this. And then for the center one, I'm going to leave just the way it is. And the third one is going to be a dark color yet again. And this is a 3D kind of an effect that is given purely by way of gradient. And we have got our first shape in place. So that looks beautiful. I'm going to close this and I'm going to hold the control button down as I click and drag this to its new location. And this is a copy of the previous one. And I'm going to create a handle for this one. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, go to the basic shapes and I'm going to use this one called a circle hollow. And I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw this handle here. That looks good. And we are going to give this a dark color, maybe something like this. And I'm going to remove the outline. I'm going to select this and I'm going to send it to back. Now we are going to add a small string here so that it becomes much easier for us to pull this down. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up this rectangle, which is called as a rectangle rounded corners. And I'm going to draw it like this so that I can click on this adjustment handle and move it to the center. So we have a proper rounded rectangle from both corners and this is our string and let us try and have this to this thickness and let us give it the same color as this one. So let us go here and give it a real dark color and we're going to add this over here. So this is the string that is going to be used to pull this down. Yeah, that looks good. And we're going to remove the outline color for this one. And then we are going to have a hand picture. So let us go to clicker.com, C-L-K-E-R.com, where you get free high quality public domain vector images. This is the image that I'm going to use. I can download either a PNG image like this, or I can download an SVG image. I'm going to use PNG image and I'm going to choose the large size. And here I have already pasted that image on my slide and it is available here and I'm going to slightly change the angle of rotation and I'm going to make sure that this one touches the string that we had so that it almost mimics as if this hand is trying to pull that string thereby moving this entire thing down. So that is how we are going to create our uh, animation. Now we are going to have three things grouped together. I am going to select the string the handle and the bar all grouped together with control G. And then we are going to have this come in the front. And now we are also going to have the placeholder for our quotation. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery, pick up the rectangle tool, and I'm going to draw a rectangle that is going to be our text placeholder. So this is the text placeholder. And I'm also going to write my text there. Let me go to the previous slide and let me select the entire text from here. I'm going to press Ctrl C. I've copied the text and let me go here and press Ctrl V. And I'm going to give this a slight gray color 
So let us go to shape fill and choose this slight gray color shape outline, no outline. So we have got our screen in place. Now we need to have this going back. So send to back. Now we've got pretty much everything in place. Let me move this slightly up. And then it is time for us to add some nice custom animation. Now I'm going to pick up this hand here. This is the image that we are going to first animate. Let me go to animations and the way it is going to enter the scene is by way of float in. So this is how it is going to come in and it needs to happen fairly fast. So 0.5 seconds and it has to happen in the same direction as the default one. So it comes in. Now we need to have the hand and this rectangular bar with the group here going down. So let me go to add animation option. The reason why I'm going for add animation option and not the animation here is since we already have some animation added to this, if I were to choose the animation option here, then the earlier animation would get replaced. We don't want that to happen. So let us go to add animation option and I'm going to choose a simple line animation in the motion path and this is how the animation is going to be. Now, as you can see here, it is not ending at the place that we want. So we are going to change the end point of these things. So I'm going to select the first one here and we are going to ensure that the end point, as you can see here, it is red in color. We are, I'm going to hold the shift button down and I'm going to make sure that it touches the bottom end of this uh, screen at the back. I am also going to make sure that this hand that you see here is also moving along with it and it goes to the end point here. So that is how the animation is. So we've got our motion path animation in place. Now let us see whatever we have done so far. A hand comes and it just opens it. Excellent. We need to have no outline for this because I noticed some outline there and we need to have no outline. Now that looks clean. The next thing we are going to do is let us go to the animations tab and keep the animation pane open. We are going to have this screen, the one at the back, wiping out at the same time as this one goes down. So I'm going to use a simple wipe animation and this has to happen from top. And this needs to happen at the same duration as the previous one. So I'm going to choose the duration for this one. This is two seconds. So I'm going to choose the duration of this as uh, with previous and two seconds. And we are going to have this movement happening after previous. And let us see so far how it has gone. So a hand comes, pulls, and you can see that the screen behind is revealed. Now I want to have this hand, the hand here, leaving the scene. So let, let me add animation here, exit animation, and it needs to fly out. And maybe I can change the direction as uh, something like to bottom right. So it looks a little bit more interesting. And this needs to happen after previous. Now let me do a quick review of the different types of animations we have in place. The first animation event is this one where the hand floats in. So that is the first animation event and it happens for 0.5 seconds. Right after that, everything happens with previous, but for the last one, which happens after previous. The second animation event is this group and the hand are moving down. And that is the thing that you see here, motion path animation. We have motion path animation applied to this group and the hand. Then while this motion path animation is happening, we are going to have the screen unfold. So that is going to happen with a wipe animation from top. And this is happening with previous. And after this, this hand is exiting the scene with exit animation. So these are the various animation events here. Let us go to the slideshow mode and finally see how the effect looks like. As you can see here, first it is a closed screen. And then on a click, a hand comes and pulls it out. And you can see that we have a beautiful looking coat slide ready for our use in business presentations. Talking about business presentations, one of the wonderful tools that you need to have in hand is comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. This bundle is a collection of more than 4,020 premium PowerPoint templates that allow you to convert any boring text-based slide into clear and compelling visual slide in a matter of minutes. 
I'm going to show you some creative custom animation that is already in place in comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. The first template I want to show you talks about the concept of hitting the target. Here we are going to talk about four points that will help us achieve the target and it is a very common scenario in any business presentation. On a click, I introduce the first option and you can see that the option has hit the bullseye and right at that time, the second option is also shown and then that it hits the bullseye, third option, fourth option and all four options hit the bullseye. So these are the four points that have helped us achieve the target. It's a very useful concept you can use. Another template is this one where we talk about two types of preparation for goal achievement. One is not so effective uh, preparation to achieve target. You can see here, people want to throw money at the problem and that is what is represented here. And the next one is this, which is a better and more strategic planning here to achieve the target. So you can talk about the two types of planning whenever you want to communicate this concept. And then how do these two plans work? If you were to take the first one, it works like this, which is an ineffective tool and it doesn't hit the target because it doesn't have the strength to reach the target. Another one is this, the right tool goes and hits the bullseye. So it is almost like we are communicating a story with different visuals as we explain these and the best part is all this is already animated and it's available as a template for you to pick and stick in your presentations. Now let me show you some more very interesting ways in which you can represent concepts. This is about organizing group of people into teams. On a click, we introduce the team members. As you can see here, it's a collection of different dots of different colors. And then we communicate the concept of dividing them into teams. As you can see here, all three are nicely segregated and they are given a label. This again comes in quite handy for a number of situations, not only about dividing people into teams, it is also about organizing things into different clusters, etc. Another example is about exchange of resources, especially if you want to present HR presentations, this can come in quite handy. There are two different teams that are working in silos. What you really want to happen is a transparency between the two teams and people exchanging their information, idea, and even exchanging people among the teams. Another example is this one where we talk about existing members leaving and new members joining. This is the example of a closed team. A better team is where the existing members leave and new members come in so that there is always fresh ideas that are infused into the team. Let me show you a couple of concepts on leadership. As you can see here, aligning towards one goal is shown here. As you can see that the arrows are all over the place and these are the different objectives of different people. When you have a common goal that comes in, then you can see that the team goal is the one that drives the alignment of all the objectives and you can see that everybody works in uh, one direction. Another example is going from chaos to orderliness. On a click, you can see that there are arrows all over the place and there is chaos that you can see. On a click, you can see that there is an alignment of everything and there is orderliness and you can talk about the orderly scenario here. All these are custom animations that are already done and are available as templates in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. No matter what idea or concept you have in your mind, you will find a suitable template in our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle. If you're someone who makes business presentations and you want results from your presentations, then comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle is a product that you must invest in. I will leave a link to this useful product in the description box below the video. You can click on the link and find more about this useful product. Finally, if you want to receive exclusive PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share only with my email subscribers, please click on the link here and join our newsletter called Success by PowerPoint. The PowerPoint tips and tricks that I share in the newsletter are so simple that you can use them in your next presentation. So please click on the link here, join our newsletter, and I will see you in the next video.